Everyone, Joe from Loudwire here with Michael Starr of Steel Panther. And, dude, you're doing a concert to save the world. I know. No, nobody else thought of that. You're the first well, band to think to actually try to save the world. That's amazing. Thank you. Well, I think the world needs some saving right now. Everyone's under a lot of financial stress and just quarantine stress. And it's time for us to change the perception and let people just escape. So I heard you might need some help figuring out your wardrobe for the stage. Well, I, pr I appreciate your time because I know that for me, part of my job in Steel Panther is to make sure that we're all coordinated, dressed Absolutely. with our costumes, right? Because it's important, right? You don't want some guy, you know, wearing stuff that doesn't match, right? You never wear like giraffe and tiger at the same time. It's just not cool because yeah. tigers eat yeah. giraffes. You know what I mean? So listen, I'm going to show you a few things. And I just want you to just tell me, like, if you think I should wear them or if I should not wear them. I have this pair of pants right here, right? And this, is, this comes from the David Lee Roth era of uh, right. Eat Him and Smile. It's kind of a takeoff of his chaps that he wore in that. All right. And uh, let me just show you what they yeah. really look like unfolded. Like that, right? Look at that. So, Dude, under the lights, check out, I have a ring light here. I turn this thing out, watch this thing glisten. Oh, damn. So you do a kick, check this out. Flashes, right? Check this out. This is a pair of pants I wore on the cover of our latest record, Heavy Metal Rules, right? And I'm thinking about bringing these back out for a little taste of our live internet show. What do you think of those? Those are some very leading lines there. Uh, I like well, it. They lead, they lead to one important place, man. Most important place of all, all right? right? Come on, dude, the promise line. Okay, so we'll, we'll go with, with the, the sequence ones, right? All right. Oh, and I, I want to ask you this, too. Do you think I should do a costume change during the internet show? Oh, absolutely. When would I do that? Uh, you do it uh, during Satchel Solo. Oh, you know what we could do? Yeah. You know how, like, they have those, like, square, like, dressing rooms that are just curtains at like swap meets and shit yeah i could get one of those have all my costume changed and while satchel's talking i could change my costume and then come out a completely different one yeah it'll be like the magic show that you know iron maiden did for bruce's last show that would be rad i have a new cape that i got whoa and uh this cape i'm gonna have to take off my headphones cape it's rad, it's just confusing how to wear it, right? It goes something like this. Right? And it looks something like this. Well, dude, Rick Wakeman would be so proud of you right now. You can wrap it like this and get all sexy with the bitches. What do you think of that? I like it. And you it's got more sequins over there, so we're starting to match a little bit. I had a, I had a little problem with that today. Yeah, sequins, it's tough, man. Just People think that the 80s was not really coordinated and color coordinated, but I'm telling you, a lot of guys just went black metal and black leather and black concert t-shirts. But when you start mixing sequence colors, you have to really think about what you're doing because you don't want to look like a clown. Do you have a limit of like how many animals you're supposed to wear, like a minimum, maximum? Yes, I do, I do. That's why I was telling you earlier about mixing giraffe with tiger. You want to keep the animal um, to just one part of your body, maybe just patches as well, too. Wow. These are made by a company called Wicked Lester out of Manchester, UK. It's got the leather mixed with the, I don't know what animal that is. What is that, tiger or cheetah? <sighs> cheetah, leopard. I think it's one of those. I don't know, because the, the uh, pattern's bigger, so I think it might be uh, antelope or something. I don't I don't know. Know. Somebody go check out Nat Geo after they're done watching this. They can figure that out. Yeah, that's how you find out, I guess. Get all back. I know is that giraffe gets eaten by all these patterns. They got to be careful. A cod piece to go with any of these, like our, uh, our, our dear friend Blackie Lawless. Dude, that, that's a bold cod piece. However, I am not really into putting a blade by my penis. No, huh? Yeah, I just want to keep it as, as big as it is, because any smaller would be even worse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, it's BVS. Got to worry about it. Totally. It's not my fault. To let you know, the wardrobe box is very important. 
contains everything, all accessories, sunglasses, gloves, scarves. Do you got any Halford gloves? Hold on a second. Dude, this outfit's coming together now. I got this this glove, which is tr traditional heavy metal one. Oh yeah, yeah you know what's up. Mm -hmm. This one, this one's actual leather, so it doesn't smell like uh, neoprene, which is important. Yeah, this one does. And then this one is a colored white one turned purple. Whoa! I think that I come from? I could wear that with this cape. That would work. You got That's a little cool. two-tone pink. Can you add your middle finger to a fist of metal real quick for me? Oh, yeah, dude. What is that called? It's called a shocker. Yeah, it is. Yeah, tune to pink, one of the stink. Great for quarantine, but you, yeah. it's hard to do it on yourself. So usually with the cape, it goes over something. We got to put something under this. Unless you're going to go uh, you know, a little, a little bare-chested like our friend Billy Idol here. And then I also have some jackets to decide from. All right. I have this one, which is a Steel Panther one. All right, so I don't know if that, though, is going to mix with a cape. I think we're going to... No, that, that's a costume change, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe maybe death to all but metal, you know, bust out bust out the battle jacket. If you're walking like this, bam! Boom. But you don't, you don't want to wear this one with socks and sandals, you know what I mean? I, I think if you're bold enough to wear that jacket, I think you could rock the socks. You can wear anything, right? Yeah. I have a pair of chaps from 1989 that I have in here. They don't fit right now. I'm just going to wait till I start dying of some sort of disease and get really skinny. I guess that's not too funny right now, but hopefully that doesn't happen. But anyways, these are the chaps. Can you see those fucking things? I can see right through them. They're made out of leather, and they're made by a company called L.A. Rocks, and I bought them on Melrose back in 1989. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is a, a Tupperware, right? And it's stage glasses, right? And inside it are a plethora of scarves. And then also... All right. There's only one style, right? It's the aviators, because like if you do the Aussie glasses, it's just the Aussie glasses. Aussie shades, dude. Yeah. That way you can find them right away. Bam. All right, so we got the cape. Cape, sequin pants. Oh, I have this leather coat, which is badass. I, I mean, it's pretty cool. It has a star on the back of it. Ooh, that's like your encore jacket. Hey, good idea. This with fishnet. Hold on, wait for it. Well, actually, you know, the sleeve's got to be like that, right? Yeah, you got to show how tough you are. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, this one is very good, my friend. Ooh. This, yeah, check that out. Wow. It's like this is some eat, eat, eat them and smile tour stuff from David Lee Roth. That's outrageous. Hey, let me put it on. I have to figure out how to get it on. Oh, there we go. So you flip around like this, like that. Looks like that. Oh, it doesn't match, does it? Oh, no, it does. No, that looks pretty good. Yeah, you think? Yeah. I got to put all this stuff on the side so I don't forget what you picked. Are you sticking with that bandana? On my head? Yeah. I don't know. I have, I have a lot of different ones. Um, let me show you what I have. All right, I just so want to show you what bandana life is like. I learned this trick from Axl Rose. And this is the way you hang scarves like that. You learned that from Axl Rose. Uh, what year was that? When did you, uh, what show was it that you saw him that you, that you picked up that trick? Uh, it's when DJ Astro was playing with him, I think. Oh no, it was when we opened up for him. That's what it was. We opened up for Guns N' Roses at the Forum a while, I forget how long ago it was. I think it might've been 2012 or something. Yeah, I think it was 2012 or 11, maybe. I, I get confused, but um, yeah, we opened up for him and it's really funny because we weren't able to sound check, right? Mm -hmm. And we're like, why can't we sound check? This is like, this, this is LA, we're opening up for GNR. We want to sound the best we can. They're like, no one can sound check. 
Axel's taking a nap. And wow. so the whole forum was shut down because, he, you know, it's his show. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. He's like, hey, I'm taking a fucking nap. Everyone be quiet. Laying down the law as he should. Yeah, totally, right? Axel Rose. And I'm like, that is so awesome. I want to fucking play Staples Center and take a nap and make everyone be quiet. I'm, that's one of my goals. Dude, that Axel Rose made napping rock, rock and roll. <laughs> it's amazing, dude. Uh, his personal dude that handles him is a friend of mine. And uh, he's like, like, dude, you got to check out his, his, his changing area. I'm like, hell yeah. So I checked out every bandana that he's ever worn. Not ever worn, but he's got like 30 or 40 bandanas and scarves and stuff. And it's all yes. just laid out. That Some of them were laid out that way. And I, I stole that idea from him. Like, That's cool. So um, I think we got the whole thing figured out, huh? Hey, there's one thing I want to throw out there. We are, we are giving a... Uh, uh, part of the proceeds to benefit this uh, place called Heavenly Pet Animal Rescue in Los Angeles, and uh, also to uh, Crew Nation Fund. And what that is, uh, Heavenly Pet is obviously, you, you can tell what that is, it's an adoption place for, for sure. cats. And uh, what we're doing with the uh, Crew Nation Fund is that we're going to give con a contribution to that fund, and that fund is going to all the road crew that are out of work right now. And, um, and there's a lot of them. So yeah. hopefully that uh, will do really well and be able to contribute a lot and uh, it'll be cool. So we look forward to that. Well, you're doing more than saving the world here. You're saving the animals. You're saving all the crew members. So heavy metal rules. Thank you so much, Michael Starr. Thanks, dude.